Empty hallways, abandoned desks, and lockers not being used. Images like these, well, they are a reality for four schools inside Crum ISD right now after a COVID spike closed them, sending students home to learn virtually. So you've got to try to slow the, the growth. Interim Superintendent Mike Davis said by phone at least 40 confirmed cases led to those closings, with contact tracing depleting staff. You don't have enough teachers to teach class enough custodians to clean. You don't have a lot of choice at that point. And other districts are in the same boat as COVID cases rise across the metro. In fact, in the past few days, a handful of schools closed, all temporarily moving to virtual because of COVID spikes. Simply put, Davis blames Halloween parties and unsafe gatherings outside of class. And it's hard to keep kids from socializing. I'll, I, I will tell you that. And closing up isn't easy. If schools want to stay funded with the TEA, they can only go remote for five days straight. Funding isn't impacted, however, if counties order schools to close due to an outbreak and remote learning is provided. This is a time when we have to come together as a community. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins is concerned more schools may have to go virtual, especially with another big holiday coming up, Thanksgiving. On a call with superintendents in the county, he suggested maybe going this route. The colleges are not coming back after uh, Thanksgiving in these uh, spikes. And uh, um, so some of our schools may want to look at that. Meaning more campuses may start to look like this. In Crum, I'm Matt Howerton.